Welcome back. Summer in Alaska is finally here. The waters are running free, the sky is clear, and the air is clean and fresh. The days are long and almost impossibly bright. Alaska is one of those places where you lose all sense of time and place due to the intensity of the landscape around you. One of the first things you notice is the light. It gradually grows on you as you travel further north and you find yourself staying up later and waking up earlier and wondering if you ever really slept at all. And that's okay. We saved that for the long hibernation of winter in Alaska. Now, we don't have places to be or people to become. We are on one of the few roads in Alaska heading south. And we are Jim, Ember, and Cynthia, three offbeat Alaskans exploring in our Winnebago Revel 4x4 Sprinter van, taking you to the most off-grid remote locations we can find. Thank you for being here with us on another Alaskan adventure. Today, we continue our adventure along the Kenai Peninsula to an area not many choose to adventure to, past Anchor Point State Recreational Park, past several beautiful campgrounds, full of, I'm sure, fun and adventurous like-minded people looking forward to getting out of the house for a few days to celebrate, thinking of those on this holiday weekend who have fallen so we can continue to stand. And this is where we use our 4x4 Winnebago Sprinter exactly for what it was intended for. Real down and dirty Alaskan adventure, taking us out to a place that we love to call home. The freedom of being out here in places like this is we don't have to be anyone. Here, we can taste the simple joys, these abundances of beauty that turn our soul over, awakening a rebellious, archaic part of us. There's no temptation to be someone where we don't have to be anyone. It's in places like this, right here, where you can be unfaithful to your own self-portraits.
Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Amber's like, where's mine? Hit the spot. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> Cheers. Our travels have taught us that fitting in is highly overrated. We would rather fit out. Because of our selfishness and inclination towards personal comfort and convenience, we'd rather not have to deal with the constant change and uncertainty of other people. Alaska isn't about who you were when you began your adventure up this way. It's about who you become once you've experienced her. Because every piece of Alaska will sing to you if you listen hard enough. You will remember the curves of her trails and every tree of her forest will feel comfortable, familiar to you. The more we have thought about leaving, the less we like the idea. Alaska is our home. Up here, you can be anything you want. There is nothing generic about the people in Alaska. There are people who are generic. They make generic responses and expect those generic answers. They live inside a box and they think that the people who don't fit in their box are weird. To me, generic people are the weird people. Nobody should be rewarded for hiding who they truly are. And nobody is accidentally in Alaska. The people who are in Alaska are here because they choose to be. They are the real frontier epic and state of mind. The people are incredibly friendly, interesting, smart, but they also stay out of each other's business.
Don't be a stranger in the night Take a chance for some romance Don't copy your eyes We'll love trees Know you better than anyone else It's time you let your guard Someone like me, I'd say I'm settled and pretty calm. I don't storm in the storm. If not me, then someone like me that knows what to do and how to take care of you. But most of all, that deserves you. Welcome back to another Instant Pot Inspiration. We're out here in beautiful Anchor Point along the Anchor River on one side and the ocean on the other. It's a fantastic place. We're gonna do a slow cook today. So we're starting this a little bit early. It's gonna come in bits and pieces as we go through the recipe. But the first thing we're gonna do is rub our roast. We're gonna do a roast. Uh, we had this specially cut at the butcher uh, in Safeway and I did Google the rub just to try something a little bit different. And this was created by Rebecca Cottrell. So we're gonna to try to duplicate the rub itself. Everything else will be our normal recipe. The reason that I Googled the rub is because I really wanted to make it a Cajun rub, which is using Tony's. And I didn't have any ideas. So, that person helped us with the idea. We're going to start off with four tablespoons of Tony's, four tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of sage, a tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, and then about a tablespoon of pepper. Mix this up together really well. So the roast that we're using today is about three pounds of meat. And we're just gonna rub our meat really well. Our meat is nice and rubbed. It's covered in the seasoning. We're gonna let it set for about an hour and go play. And then we'll get it cooking in the Instant Pot.
Our meat has been resting for a little over an hour. We're gonna sear both sides of the meat. We'll add some oil into the Instant Pot. Put it on saute. Our meat is seared on both sides. We're gonna add in our beef broth. And we're gonna cover up our meat. I'm gonna put in about half a cup of mushrooms. Seal up our Instant Pot. Take it off and saute. We're gonna pressure cook on high. for one hour. Hit the keep warm button. Now we're off to the races. After our roast is nice and tender, we're gonna do a 10 minute natural release and then we'll quick release whatever might be left. Our 10 minute natural release is done, so we're gonna do our quick release and let everything else out. Our valve has dropped so we can safely open our Instant Pot see how tender our roast is. It's incredibly tender. It's falling apart with the fork, which means it's exactly where we want it. If it wasn't tender enough, then we would extend the cook time just a little bit, probably by about 10 minutes, but this is perfect. We are just feeling like hoagies tonight. So we're gonna make a couple hoagies with our meat. Take the rest of the rust, we'll put it back inside here and we'll put it on keep warm for later so we can keep it nice and toasty. I think you're gonna like this one. Think so? It's not spicy, a lot of flavor. Mm. <laughs> that is so good. It's all in how you rubbed your meat. <laughs> so if you want a good rub, follow that recipe I just showed you. That's incredible. Let's eat.
like any seasoned travelers, we are always looking for those experiences that are unique to any place. And we find ways to capture its beauty that would make anyone want to taste those unworldly showers of Alaska's light in person. Those elemental energies we feel when we're here. Those energies that make us human. The outdoors is our element. And we are given the exact sensation of living here. It doesn't mean continuously hiking, biking, and exploring. The outdoors is also a restful place where we can create stories for only the birds to hear. The more we see as I sit here under this glorious sunset, the more we wonder what we aren't seeing. story before but what you have to understand is that this is not a story about a time traveler that's the story of the time traveler's wife It doesn't look very pretty out there today. Good morning. Hi. Oh, you ready to go out and play again? So, what did we learn today? As we travel, we learn that rules are made to be broken. And it's okay to live our lives on our terms without apologizing for it, sticking to our convictions, going against the grain, refusing to conform, and taking the road less traveled instead of that well-beaten pavement path. We laugh in the face of adversity and leap before we look. We will continue to dance as though everyone is watching while marching to the drum of our own beat, stubbornly refusing to fit in. 
And until we see you again, tell us where you're watching from in our comments below. Stay tuned to our future adventures by subscribing. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. We'll see you again soon.